that just because they're the same name, they're linked together. We have to explicitly say, hey, the sales rep in this table is tied to the sales rep in that table. So, the bottom line is, each of these tables represents an entity in the real world. It has all the characteristics or attributes of that entity. And each member of that entity, or each row in the table, is uniquely identified by a primary key. By uniquely identified, it means every row has one, and each one is different. Now, the last part of it, we talked about the database having a structure and the database containing relationships. The last part of it is that any relationship between entities is implemented through the use of a foreign key constraint. And what's a foreign key constraint? It's that an attribute in one table points to the primary key of another and is defined as a foreign key. So it's not just giving them the same name. You have to take the next step in defining them as a foreign key. One nice thing about databases is that it's one of the few times that we can speak in absolute terms. All right? Every table should have a primary key. You know? That, that's not really subject to debate. All right? Anytime there's a relationship, it should be implemented via a foreign key, which is an attribute that points to the primary key in the related table. That's an absolute. I'm not going to come in tomorrow and say, well, sometimes you might want to do it this way. All right? To be sure, you could probably concoct some wild exception, but it would just be uh, more of a transitory thing. In other words, um, if you're converting data from one place to another, temporarily you might remove the foreign keys, but when you're done, you'd put them back. All right. Any questions about this? I'm going to ask you to choose one of three opinions of today's lecture. That it was great, that it was truly excellent, or that it was superb. No. Your three, your three choices are, number one, this was by and large brand new material for me. All right, that's option one. Number two is, I've heard this before, but it was beneficial to review. And option number three is, this was more or less a waste of time. I know this stuff. Why don't you come in and talk to me about adding one and one if we're going to go over stuff that I've learned years ago. Now, I know that maybe you're somewhere in between on that, but pick the, one of the three options that best describes how you feel about this. So, and again, you're not going to hurt my feelings, all right, if you tell me that this was a waste of time for you, that you, you already knew, you know this up, down, and sideways, so... Okay, you know, it was, your, your redundancy joke was funny, but other than that, it was a waste of time. All right. So, how many of you, would, would you categorize this as mainly like brand new stuff? Stuff that you didn't really know before. And that's okay, too. All right. How many of you would say this is a review, but a beneficial review? And how many of you think it was a waste of time? All right, that's fair. All right, and that's sort of the answer I was hoping for. I mean, um, I obviously don't want to waste your time, you know, so if you feel that you have a really solid understanding of databases, then, you know, I can, can ratchet things up a bit. On the other hand, if you don't have, if it was new material for you, you know, I might want to slow down a little bit and cover some of these things in a little bit more detail. All right. At any rate, onward and upward, next time we'll talk more about this stuff. This is one of my absolute favorite topics to talk about, if you haven't noticed. 
Uh, and in fact, if you like look at my YouTube channel, this is the one, a version of this lecture is one that probably gets more hits than any other of my videos. I, I've gotten comments literally from around the world about it, including one that commented that they need a database to count the number of times that I say all right. All right. Uh, which, you know, which I was tempted to say. I was tempted to say, why, did you run out of fingers to count them or something like that? But I thought that would be rude, so I didn't. Don't you love that passive-aggressive insult? Like, I was going to say this, but I decided not to. Um, at any rate, um, that's it. We'll continue with this next time. All right. <laughs>